Good morning guys, it is Thursday today and I've got a nice little kind of day with me, pamper day, what I'm trying to do throughout these days video today. I've got an exciting puzzle I want to open with you guys because this video is in collaboration with Barley Body and I'm so excited about it because they've got some new products and I can't wait to talk you through them. Obviously you guys know I love their tan. So I am going to be doing a tan today because look at the state of me. I have got the tan drops on my face that I did last night. So my face looks a little bit browner than my neck. But I am going to start the day. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to do some exercise. Some gym sort of thing. Um, and then we can go through the parcel, get ready together, shower, fake tan, you know. Do it all. This little man's super sleepy. So you need to go down for your morning nap, don't you? even though this one's not very long but yeah welcome back to the vlog i hope you enjoyed my last one and yeah i'm excited to try and cheer you guys up a little bit distract you guys and i give you some ideas for a pamper day so i've just put on my gym stuff i don't know whether i'm going to do it outside or inside but i've currently got this weird like twinge going on right now it feels like i've even like pulled in a muscle or something like that um, so I don't want to do anything too st strenuous. But my sister's watching Parent Trap at the moment. And I'm kind of tempted <laughs> to join her. But maybe I'll just do my workout in here so I can do both, you know? Okay, I'm going to do my Grace Fit guide. This is when she had her athlete app. Um, now, obviously, she's got Shreddy. And then we've got Parent Trap on the telly. So winning, Told winning. me more. Then once to show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give so you I my intention I might look like I worked hard then Probably because I didn't But that has actually killed me off I did some ab workouts um, I then swapped it back to my normal workouts that I do um, Rather than the Grace Fit ones Because it had like squats and stuff in it And I didn't want to do that So that's my little workout done for today. My sister's making cookies, which is great news. <laughs> great for a pamper day. I will go through and show you the new in products that I've got to show you from Barley Body now because I can't wait and I'm so excited to try them. Like I said, after I've showered and stuff, because I will be applying fake tan, they did send me a top up of my tan, which I'm so grateful for because it's my favorite tan ever. Um, I'll be doing a get ready with me using the new products because it is a makeup product and I'm super excited about it. I feel like it's just the right time for this to come out. Um, with summer coming up, obviously at the moment it, everything's a bit unknown. But yeah, we can still look good whilst staying in. And I'm quite lucky in the fact that I kind of have to get ready. Well, I don't have to get ready to do my job, but I like to get ready to do my job. So yeah. I'm just feeling very grateful that I'm in this position at the moment so so this arrived at my door a couple of days ago and I've said this on my Instagram story and I feel like I might have said it in my last vlog but any parcels I'm really really grateful to receive to work with amazing brands as well but especially at this time I'm so so thankful that I can do this and be able to still bring you guys some good content whilst this is all going on because a lot of people obviously have been <sighs> taken off work or things like that so I'm really excited to be able to carry on not as normal because things have been slowed down but obviously that is honestly not a problem to me i'm quite liking just to have this time to i feel like we're just recouping you know so i feel good about that so what better way to have a little recoup and refresh than to do a little pamper routine so i feel like everyone deserves one of these at the moment like a nice little pamper day so definitely set some time out for yourself to relax keep yourself busy as well i feel like at the moment you kind of need to set yourself a routine which is why i did that little mini workout because obviously we're allowed out <laughs> we're allowed out it sounds like we're like grounded or something once a day for some exercise last night we went for a walk we'll probably go for a walk again later but i do like to get in some exercise anyway and i was literally saying to con yesterday even if i spent the day inside i wouldn't i wouldn't think to maybe go out for a walk but now this is kind of like putting into perspective that it's actually really nice to do that and it's important to get fresh air and exercise is good for your mental health so yeah i feel like i feel like after this all it will be a positive experience but obviously we're still in the unknown but i just want everyone to stay positive and we're all in this together when you open the box we have you've just received the gift of glowing skin and 
if that doesn't excite you, I don't know what does. So in the top is literally just a restock of my favourite tan. But that isn't what we're here to talk about today, even though I love that so, so much. We're here to talk about the new highlighting sticks. So you get three shades. This one is in the shade Rose Gold. This one is in the shade Moonlit. And this one is in Sunkiss. I think Sunkiss sounds right up my street probably be the one that I'm going to use oh that is beautiful it's like a golden shimmer shade as you can see these will be so so perfect for holiday hopefully we get to go on our holidays this year we'll see I have my hen do booked in September and I'm just praying that we can at least make that so if I swatch it on my hand it's kind of like there you go it's not really thick it's not like really like a thick paste if that makes sense it's quite light and then let's rub it in it just adds like a really nice dewy sheen can you see that which is gonna be so so nice on the skin under makeup as a makeup topper because i don't really like to wear intense like powder highlight now i prefer my skin to look quite dewy my skin right now looks quite dry <laughs> that's okay then this is the shade rose gold which is obviously more of a rose gold shade um like a pinky bronze let's swatch that one too they're really nice and like velvety kind of but not like moussey if that makes sense they're quite sheer which i quite like but look at the shine on that that is so nice it just looks like such a healthy glow from like within rather than like a really false i feel like that whole stripey highlighter is kind of like gone off now so yeah these are perfect for me i don't know if you can even tell but it's super dewy and i love that so the final shade is moonlit this is the lightest one of them all and it's kind of like a champagne -y gold i might actually really really like this one too um i mean i'm gonna like them all i know that but how am i meant oh my god i love this one this one look, would be like a really beautiful lip gloss shade as well. I don't know if you can see that one because obviously it is a lot fairer. But the sheen on them is just so beautiful. It just makes your skin look so healthy. So there you go. My hand's quite glowy and dewy. But we will properly see them in action when I do them on my face. Use them on my face. And I'm super excited about that. So the next step for me is to get in the shower. I'll probably do a face mask. I've got quite a lot of new face masks to try. And I think my skin needs it right now. As I said, I do already have the face tanning water on. I slept with it on because that's the best way to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and scrub off my tan first because I still have like little bits left. I mean, not much at all. There's literally none left on my hands. But yeah, I'm going to get in the shower, wash my hair, scrub my tan off, do a face mask, and then I'll come back to you and then we will tan. <laughs> so i've just come out the shower i've scrubbed my tan off and i decided to attack my face when i didn't really need to and now i've got a red mark now i've scrubbed my tan off you can see where i've put the tanning drops on my face so the plan is to match my face to my body first things first i'm actually going to do my hair just because i don't like it makes me feel funny having wet hair on my tan so hair products wise when i get out the shower i use this i use this l'oreal series expert 10 in 1 color my hairdresser told me to get this so i got it and i use it all the time so i've washed my hair um i'm now going to dry it and then i'm going to show you what i use to blow dry because i had a few questions on my last video i do actually like to have my hair in a middle parting but when it's like so wet it's hard to get it into a middle parting if that makes sense so i'm also going to be putting some heat protectant in my hair because i'm going to be blow drying it and also whilst i'm drying my hair i'm going to put on a face mask so my face mask of choice today is this l'oreal pure clay bright mask which i'm super excited to use boohoo sent this over to me so i'm very grateful for that and i've never tried these i've heard good things about them so i'm excited to give it a go and as you can see my face looks quite dull and dry right now um so we need some brightening up to be honest oh that's weird it smells like lemon stuff i'm just gonna use this off the lid oh, i haven't used a face mask in so long <laughs> not 
going to put it around here because I don't really want it too close to my eyes because I have really sensitive skin. And if I put anything too close to my eyes, my eyes will flare up. So we're not going to risk that, but I'm just going to get on and dry my hair whilst this is on my face. And then we can move on to the tanning because I'm literally translucent. We are so real, better you, better me. now obviously i've had the chemical straightening i'm gonna get my brazilian blow dry topped up asap as soon as we're out of this phase because i was gonna get it done just before dubai and by the time this is all like this isolation stuff's over it should it would have been about the time i was gonna get it redone anyway okay we can move on to the tan now because i'm gonna do my tan before i do, like properly finish my hair because i'm gonna have to put my hair up whilst i tan and i don't want to put my nice blow dried hair after I've done it up, if that makes sense. So, I'm just gonna get on and tan. I usually do just one layer, but I do apply quite a generous amount and I always start up here. So I'm gonna get on and do my tan because it's quite hard to tan whilst, yeah, we all know the drill. We all like to tan naked. So we need to get on and do that before we get back to you. Right, my tan is all applied and I feel better already. So let's move on to makeup and then I'll finish with my hair because makeup is what I'm most excited to try. So I'm just going to take this face mask off. So I'm going to be taking the glow stick and just applying this as like a base. Actually I might kind of just do it like as if I was like highlighting and contouring you know. Use the darker one around the perimeters. And then I'm going to use the rose gold one. And then I use this more champagne-y one after. So I'll kind of put that here. So I'm just going to buff that in. I literally love products like this because they're also perfect to wear. Like when you've got, when you're having no makeup days. Just to throw on. To make your skin look radiant and dewy. Like I'd be so happy just to wear. Especially if you tan, like the sun kiss one would be perfect. Um, I'd be so happy just to wear this. On my no makeup days just as a little something something you know okay so it dries quite quickly it's not like something that's gonna stay wet which is a good thing because I feel like if highlighting products are too creamy and they don't set then they just slide off your face so that's also a good sign but that it's going to be a great base for my makeup. Also, this would be great on your collarbones. I'm not going to do that now just because I don't want to take my tan off. It looks unreal. Like, if you've got no makeup on, you've just done your moisturiser. This looks like you've got amazing skin, you know? Youthful, glowy, summer skin. And I'm not in focus. There we go. I'm obsessed. So, I'm going to move on to my foundation now. I do actually use a matte foundation, so that's quite good that I've got this glowy base because I don't like anything too matte. But I don't put powder on at the moment just because I don't want my skin to be too matte. And obviously if the foundation's matte then that's enough for me. It feels weird because this is kind of like my morning routine. However, Noah's not really been in it. So when I first woke up before I started vlogging, I actually fed Noah. Um, and then when I started filming, I'd just put him down to sleep. For his nap. Oh, actually, I think you might have seen him at the start. Um, and what's the time now? The time is 11 o'clock. Connor's just got up because he now works nights. So yeah, this is kind of my self-care morning routine, you know? It's quite fun to do this. So even though my foundation's matte, you can still see it like peeping through my skin, which to me is like the perfect combination. I literally love that look. So this is kind of going to be my quick everyday makeup routine. What I do, what I'm doing during this period of 
wanting to get myself semi ready but not wanting to at the same time because I'm doing nothing. So this is what I've been doing to just take my photos or film. It's such a weird thing that we're going through right now. It's so strange. I still can't quite get my head around it. I just pray we can come out the other side and all members of my family are well and safe. I'm literally just going to run this literally through my eyebrows the tiniest bit. I literally love how that looks on my nose. I can't wait to finish my face with those products. Literally, this is how quick my makeup is. I'm, I think I've nailed my routine. So for my lips, I use the Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Honeymoon. I actually really need to sharpen that. And then I take my Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Sweet Tea. Final step is the highlighters. So, so I'm actually gonna take the shade Moonlit, which is the lightest one, and just go over where I... Why does my kid sound like a kettle? <laughs> And just go over where I'd originally applied it underneath the foundation. So this is where I put my highlighter on the top of my cheekbones, and then a little bit on my nose. I really want to put it on here. Should I just do it? I'm going to do it for you guys. That is so nice. I'm literally living for that. So my quick everyday makeup look has now been upgraded and I am obsessed. They are literally going to be in my everyday makeup bag. I've been looking for a product like this for so long. I've been using a stick, but that's kind of been separating my foundation and it's not as glowy as I've wanted. So this is literally exactly what I've wanted and I'm so happy about it. So this is what I've been using. This is the Babyliss. Oh, I don't actually know what it's called. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but this is literally just like a a rotator and it's obviously heated once it's heated up i'll show you how to do it but um yeah this is what i've been loving and it makes my hair look so good so i'm so excited to show you guys so this is literally what you do you get the hair and you literally just put it through here spin it it kind of reminds me of you know when you were younger you had the braid Thing. it kind of reminds me of that and I kind of have you kind of have to master it you need to practice and then you kind of get the hang of it and then it goes like that like you've just had a bouncy blow dry so I'm going to go around my hair um, and then I'll get back to you because my camera is flashing at me there we go so I'm just going to go through my hair and then I'll get back to you guys she got a little bit of drum with she got a little bit of drum with this is my hair all complete with that brush obviously you saw it before it was quite curly and crazy and I didn't need to straighten it I just literally went through with the blow dry brush and I feel like this works better because it lasts longer because now my hair is molded to this rather than being straight and then this because otherwise it will fall back into being straight so yeah I'm literally obsessed with my makeup and the hair this whole get ready with me is literally my current favorite way to get ready even though I have nothing to get ready for get ready for myself get ready for my mental health you know there's nothing wrong with that so thank you so much to barley body for sponsoring this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this i literally am obsessed with these and i highly recommend you picking some up i will leave all the information everything else down in the description box including a link if you guys do want to shop it also the tan don't forget about the tan the tan is like you need to not sleep on it's unreal and as the months get warmer and hopefully we'll be heading on holiday i'm definitely gonna be using the spfs and stuff like that they have an amazing bb cream as well that i want to try for you guys so let me know if you'd like to see like a whole maybe summer when it gets a bit warmer summer get ready with me using like the bb cream the highlighting stuff and everything like that i think it'll be a really fun video to do literally i'm obsessed with working with these guys so i'm so grateful that they actually want to work with me as well i honestly wouldn't talk through a product or revolve a whole video around a brand if i didn't feel passionately about them i turn a lot of people down so yeah it's very exciting that these are out now so i highly recommend jumping on their website to have a look so yeah also stay tuned because this is their first product in their new cosmetics range so i can imagine there's going to be some beautiful products coming out soon so stay tuned for them as well and i'm literally just obsessed with how blendable and how easy it is to use and how good it looks on the skin it's literally like beaming through those cheeks i love it so thank you so much again thank you guys for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it seeing something a little bit fun a little bit girly a little get ready with me sort of vibe pamper day and i hope you're all keeping safe and well and i'll hopefully see you in my next video thanks for watching